This lesson on net present value follows on the previous application lesson on bonds in using the material we developed in the earlier lessons in finance. In this case, we'll be focused in on the material we covered in time value of money. For net present value problems, we don't have any guarantee that the multiple payments will all have some simple structure, like the constant annuities or the growing annuities. Net present value is used for more general business situations. For instance, when you're valuing several courses of action that a company might take, and they may be developing a product, for instance, and one plan would involve certain investments up front, followed by an introduction into a market and some rising profits, let's hope, over time. And when companies are trying to look at multiple courses of action, what they typically tend to do is instead of comparing those streams of cash flows directly, what they do is combine them all back into a single equivalent value today and compare those and choose the one they like the best. So the net present value calculation is essentially just doing a present value calculation for each one of those cash flows. There's no closed formula like with an annuity or a perpetuity because there's no regular pattern. What you're doing is just going out and recognizing how far in the future is a given cash flow. Let's bring it back that number of periods at the agreed discount rate. And then we go back and get the next one. Do it one at a time for every payment and then sum together the results. Conceptually, it's very simple. In a spreadsheet context, the difficult part is representing the situation itself in a spreadsheet, talking to the right people, getting the right information, etc. That's what you'll be focused on in reading cases in your MBA courses or in doing work beyond your MBA classroom. What we'll focus on in here is just the basic mechanics, get you comfortable with the concepts, how it's just an extension of what you've done before with time value of money, help you to understand the basic idea of comparing different courses of action and taking a net present value of each one and comparing them to decide which one you like best. And then moving into the spreadsheet context, understanding what the mechanics are, particularly of Excel's built-in NPV function, which is very convenient in that it's a single function in which, to which you can feed the cells containing the cash flows as well as another parameter that contains the discount rate but you need to understand certain details of how to implement that to make sure that you do it right.